Hey guys. guys! Welcome back. Um, thank you for all the support we received over the last week, right? Yeah. 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 Um, we got a lot of good feedback from um, our first video, which was so nice. Thank you guys. Thank um, you for being patient with us because our first video was our first. It'll get better. Yes, we're <laughs> upping our editing. Editing game. <laughs> this is a whole new thing for us. Yeah, so. we're just used to drinking. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Literally. Oh, wow. Well, this week, since we did white wine last week, we're going to do red wine this week. Um, Natalie actually got to pick it out if you want to tell the I story. I did. Of so I was originally looking for another because I searched what good. We're going for a sweet taste. So I was searching what good sweet wines we had, and we had one in mind, but the liquor store didn't have it. So I asked the guy. He was like, this one's really good. It's from France. Sweet, good to the palate. I was like, okay, I'm sold. And it's a jumbo bottle, so how am I gonna not say no? So basically, this is it. I don't know if you guys can see it. Probably not. It's called, what is it? Ma, you pronounce it perfect. Markovic Estates. Mm -hmm. So we have the sweet red wine blend from 2018. Mm. It's a huge bottle. I, I know. Love. I know. That's what I said. So when he, he showed me the bottle, I was like, sold. Yeah. I don't have to look at anything else. <laughs> <laughs> this was, um, what, $11? $11.95. So 12 bucks. Really good. Really good price. So let's see. Wow. There's a lot on the back. Yeah. So it's locate the location is the south of France. Grape is the blend of red Ver Veritals. Nose is jammy red fruits. Palette is sweet aromic red berries. And food matching says appetizer, cold cuts, pizza, and dessert. Best okay. served uh, between sixty five and seventy five degrees Fahrenheit. So Nice. I guess room temperature. Yeah, room yeah. Time, basically. All right, let's crack this board. Crack it open. We won't have the same mistake as last time. We're not amateurs, I swear. Yeah, oh, we gave up. We gave up last time. I don't do the automatic, that little, that does it for you. No, I'd rather do it manually. So much easier this so time. So much easier. Oh. Ooh. All right. Okay. Do a regular? Do we do a classy pour or, or no? No. <laughs> On the whoa, I promise myself every time that I'll be a little classier, do classy pours, keep it casual. And here I am. On a Wednesday. Wind down Wednesday. Facts. I want to put a little more so they match up. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, sorry. Ooh, no, okay. Ready? Ready? Cheers. Cheers. Oh, I actually like this. Oh, I love this. It's sweet, but it's not too sweet. It's not like overbearing. Ooh. Wow. Yeah. That is smooth. I could definitely taste like the berry flavor. It's actually kind of sweeter than the white wine we had last week, I think. Oh, it's so much sweeter than the white wine we had last week. Yeah. The white wine last week was like... And it's said middle sweet, like right in between, but to me it was more bitter than sweet. I didn't get that taste. Yeah. This wow. is good. Thank you, Raj. Yeah, he was really nice. <laughs> he was lit. Oh my God. Wow, that was really nice. Wow. Him. Okay, so on a scale from one to five, what do we think of the bottle? The bottle, the presentation? Yes. I'm going to give it a three. I was thinking the same thing. It's not that appealing to the eye. <laughs> exactly. And all it had, like, I love, like, the, the history. Like, Behind the it, because South France, that's where this is from. Very historic. Great. Love and, like, that. If you guys can see, it has um, actually a picture of, like, I guess, France, wherever it's made on it. So that's really cool. But, like, this is super boring. Yeah. I wouldn't, if I were walking in the liquor store, I don't think I'd pick it up. It looked like every other bottle. Yeah. Basically, that's what it reminds me of. So, I I guess I give it a 2.5. Yeah. A you're so, oh, bad. okay. Okay. Yeah. So, now, <laughs> on drunkness, how drunk do you think you can get off this? Well, since it's a jumbo bottle, <laughs> I would say... On a 1 to 5 scale. A 1 to 5 scale? I'm going to say... 
say a four. I think, I think five because it's a huge bottle. Yeah, and it's, it's a like huge bottle. Easy to drink. It's so. this tastes like sangria. It does. It and does. This would be good to make a sangria actually because it's not too sweet that it will ruin the sangria. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. So on a scale of one to five, how easy is this to chug? Ready? Oh, okay. Three, Let's see. two, one. <laughs> I give it a five. I give it a five. Even though I didn't finish it, I know we did. Let's pour it a little more. Wow, this is great. It is so good. Oh, this is my new go-to. Oh. Um, this Woo! one we cannot finish in two glasses, like the last one, because it's so much bigger. Yeah, it's a jumbo bottle. But yeah. if we could, we would try it. <laughs> Unless you guys want to watch us crawl. Yeah. <laughs> That's entertaining. Um, wow. That was great. That was. Wow. Wow. This is actually a really good wine. Um, <laughs> I would, I think I would recommend it for um, girls' night. Oh, this is definitely a girls' night. I if you know. ladies know, I know you're out there. Also, if you like sweet red wine, mm. um, this is not overbearing. So it's not me. overbearing. <laughs> that chug really like messed up my indigestions. <laughs> no, if um, I'm the type of person I don't like my wine overly sweet because it hangover typical. But this is just right. It's yeah, like it is. perfect. It's not overbearing. I'm not overwhelmed. I'm not like, uh, one glass was enough. You know? Yeah. It gives like that like crisp, like yes, not crisp. That that's not the right word. Like that little aftertaste of that, sweet. Uh, yeah. It's not an overbearing aftertaste yeah. of sweet. It's really good. It like is. I really wish y'all could try this. Go buy yourself I'm, a bottle. I think we highly recommend. Oh my god, this is. Wow. What would you pair this with, do you think? I agree with the, what it says in the back right now. Like, as I'm drinking this, I'm craving cheese. Yeah, I could. I can go, I go for, for some cheese. I can go for some cheese, like salami, prosciutto. Next time we'll bring a ray of food. Yeah. Actually, probably not next time. Probably, like, later on. Later but on. we'll bring an <laughs> array of food soon and try to, like, match it. Match it stuff. and see. We'll try various wines that day. It'll be, like, a special episode. It says pizza. Should we make pizza rolls? I don't think that's the same right now. <laughs> I don't think that's the same. <laughs> I don't know if I drink this with pizza. I wouldn't. I don't feel like, so this is like, wine is actually kind of heavy. It is heavy. Like I'm full. Like I don't, yeah. like that's why I said cheese or a not even a cracker. Like I'd just be good with cheese and meats. Yeah. Like, I it's think a meats little are... heavy. <laughs> well, also I chugged it. Yeah. <laughs> also that too. But that's I feel like. I feel like, yeah, meat and cheese. Meat and cheese, right? Like, that'd be a great pairing. Until I can think of, I don't think I would mix it with fruit. No. It's already sweet enough, the fruit, like, would take away from it. That. Yeah. Wow, this is like, I'm in shock. Like, I wasn't doubting him. I'm not gonna lie. Like I said, like, as crazy as it sounds, again, we're amateurs, so we're new to this. We're just here to try the wine and, like, experience it ourselves exactly. so we get to know it. Like, we're not experts. When he showed me that, I was like, what is that? Because of the way the bottle looked. Like, I was like, um, Raj, like, are you sure, dude? Also, like, I was like, Nat, um, like, do you think it tastes like a barefoot, yeah, a barefoot wine? Good. Because they're so sweet. They're overbearing. To, like, to the point where it's like, ooh, I can feel my hangover right now, and I haven't even gotten to sleep yet. Yeah, this I can't feel a hangover. No, it's like, nice. It's nice. It's like... It's a good girls' night, like type of wine, or if you're just getting ready before you go out, like, hey, oh, looking in the mirror, dancing, <laughs> like this is the wine to be sipping on. Also, I don't, I'm not a big red wine drinker, and I would drink this. I would drink I this. It. I'm a big red wine person. I love Merlot. She's like, nails. and she pairs it with her steaks, Ooh. like classy. Try to be I'm over here, like, um, <laughs> no. I think I'm good. Do you have Sprite with that? Always Sprite. He Always that Sprite. Sprite. And Merlot once. I think we were drinking Merlot because yeah. it was the only thing we had in the house. You're like, can we add Sprite? I was <laughs> like, I'm not drinking this without Sprite. I'm drinking this without Sprite. This is this is good. It's like, so good. I recommend, and it's like cheap. Like it's very inexpensive. That's what we're here for too. We, we know everyone's on.
on a budget. You know, because we don't make a million bucks. You don't make a million bucks. So we together are, you know, trying to work within our Spread budget, love. you know? Love. And it's, it's not that the wine's like cheap, like, uh, <laughs> like nasty. Like, no. this is good stuff. No, it's this is this is really good. Like I'm actually like impressed because like I said, I had negative expectations about it. I'm not even gonna lie. I really did. She was sending me like pictures of it. I was like, um and I was sending her other recommendations that I Google search, like, what's a good red wine? They don't have it, they don't have it. Alright. He said this one. I was like, Okay. I mean, he was right. I shouldn't have doubted him. We we close. We like going back. <laughs> Because that liquor store, so we, first time we went to the wine academy. Yes, we did go to the wine academy. So that's mostly wine. No one, did no one come up? I mean, no one helped us. Uh, well, it is COVID. I'm sorry. Not to be disrespectful. It's COVID. We're going through a tough situation. Yeah. But he came up to me. He had his mask on. He was like, you look like you need some help. I said, yes, I do. Sir. And he went in the back and looked for all the wines we wanted. They didn't have it, but he went back there and looked. Looked. That, I Loyal. appreciated that. It's the little things that count. Loyal. Loyal. This is, I'm like. I'm feeling it after that try. I am feeling. Do you see my face? <laughs> I matched them. <laughs> Cheers. Wow. Definitely, guys, like go for this wine i'm so happy like this put me in a good mood yeah this is really good well like subscribe and of course comment below if you do have any suggestions you would like us to try so we can experience it ourselves also follow our instagram talking grapes underscore cn get to see all the wines we post and a little bit about us more. exactly a little bit about us Thank you again, guys, for supporting us. This does mean a lot. Like, we're new to this. Again, this isn't going to be perfect. It isn't meant to be perfect, but we'll get better with time. Yeah. So. And I hope we're entertaining your quarantine. I hope we are. We're entertaining ourselves getting drunk. Mm -hmm. Cheers to that. But don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And stay tuned for next week. It's the first time I dressed up in a while. Mm -hmm. I know, same. Your hair looks a little shit though. Kept it in braids for two days. Oh, it's about the braid! <laughs> okay, I'm a clown.